Have you heard about the new Westlake Country Club? You know, it's one of the new golf courses in town. I'm just kidding. It's not new at all, but it does have a new name. It used to be Lost Creek Country Club. Today it's called Westlake Country Club. This last year it's gone through some major renovations to the golf course, the tennis courts, the swimming pools, all the dining areas, everything, and they rebranded as Westlake Country Club. I think it's pretty cool. Well look, if you're thinking about moving to that part of town or wanting to be a member there, I've got some information for you today. I'm going to show you what's nearby, the schools, the outdoor activities, and how the membership works at the Westlake Country Club. So stick around and we're going to get on it right now. Hi, my name is Nicole Cooper and I would absolutely love it if you'd subscribe. Now, let's see if this Westlake Country Club is the right vibe for your lifestyle. Westlake Country Club, first of all, I wanna show you where it is here on the map in regards to the other golf communities in town. This is Westlake Country Club right here, and keep in mind it used to be called Lost Creek Country Club. Here's Austin Country Club. Barton Creek is just next door to it. UT Golf Club out across the lake. Here's Spanish Oaks, the Hills Country Club, Onion Creek down here, Great Hills up here, and then Cedar Park even further up to the north. So that gives you your basic lay of the land for where the golf communities are in Austin. Today we're talking about Westlake Country Club and the communities that surround them. And those communities are Rollingwood, Westlake Hills, and most specifically Lost Creek. Lost Creek is the area that is right around the actual country club of Westlake Country Club. It makes sense that the Westlake Country Club used to be called Lost Creek Country Club. They had a big renovation this past year and within that renovation they did redid some branding as well and came forth with Westlake Country Club. So currently Westlake Country Club is about 10 miles west of downtown Austin and just about 15 miles to the airport. Now the areas we're going to focus on are right here that include Lost Creek, Westlake Hills and Rollingwood. They're all part of the 78746 zip code and we're not including all of the 78746 zip code because it also continues a little bit further north up here into Davenport Ranch and that's kind of more Austin Country Club uh, land and then some of it even is included over here in the Barton Creek side. So Basically, I have made um, a map that's gonna show us properties that are in the Lost Creek, Westlake Hills, and Rolling Wood areas. And that's gonna keep our bounds at the same place for the entire time we talk today. Now, when you think Westlake Country Club and West Austin, this part of town, think big luxury homes on large lots, some waterfront, and that would be Lake Austin waterfront. So we're talking big ticket homes. Um, more multi-million dollar homes. In fact, in this area of three, these three communities combined, the average sale price is $2,200,000, which puts it at $651 a square foot. The average home size is about 3,500 square feet, and they're usually on about a half acre lot. And those half acre lots can give you quite a bit of privacy when you have that much room to build and you know, have a large yard to surround you. Most of the homes in these areas were built in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And um, the only new construction you'll see is where a home has been torn down and rebuilt from scratch. There are quite a few new homes on the market as we speak, and I'll show you some of those later. In fact, the most expensive home listed in the multiple listing service as we speak is 17,800,000. Now this happens to be on a peninsula fronting Lake Austin right across from the Hula Hut. It's just under an acre at 0.85 acres, and it has 445-ish uh, linear feet of water frontage and that is where the value is coming from. The house was built in the 80s and hasn't really been updated that much so the value is definitely in the land. That just goes to show the closer you are to town on the water the more convenient it is and access to all the parks and things in downtown of Austin the more expensive the price tag. Now a few things to note about these areas um, that's kind of unique to this part of town. Westlake Hills and Rollingwood are in 
incorporated. They're cities of their own. There's only three in the area that have done this, Sunset Valley being the other one. But um, the Westlake Hills is its own city. Rollingwood is its own city, and that means they have their own police and EMS and trash and water infrastructure and all those things. So they have their own rules. And coming along with that, they have a very, very low tax rate. So one of the beautiful things about living in this part of town, other than the natural beauty, is that the tax rates hover around 1.75%. And in the city of Austin, you're gonna find more around 2.3% property taxes. So that's a really cool little caveat that you won't find in other very urban parts of Austin. Now Westlake Hills incorporated in 1953 and Rollingwood followed shortly after in 1955. And Rollingwood takes up less than a mile of, of area in town. I think it's 0.7 square miles that it encompasses. So it's it's very small and that way, that way they can make their very own rules to accommodate their lifestyles. Some of the other great things about living in this part of town other than the tax rates I just told you about is just the luxurious lifestyle and quality of life you can get in this part of town. The safety is really high. There's very low crime in this area. Um, as I mentioned, they have their own crime fighters, the EMS and, and police and things like that. Um, you also have your, your just large lots and large homes. You have your water frontage lots. So the price for pro per property is um, very high. In fact, 78746, the zip code that this the, these three communities are in is the highest zip code um, closed average closed prices in Austin. The second great thing about living in this area is the excellent schools. They all feed into the Eanes ISD, which means Westlake High School, one of the top rated schools in the state of Texas. And I'll give you more uh, detailed information about that when we dive into the map. The third great thing is just the natural beauty and the outdoor activities. You have the Barton Creek Greenbelt running through the whole thing. That's hiking, biking, and um, when, the wet, when the weather is good, meaning we're getting some rain, that could also mean some kayaking and canoeing and maybe some fishing. So the, just picture natural rolling hills, um, big creek ravines, rock walls, and um, hilltop views, some that are looking back to the city. Rolling wood would have more downtown views because it's closer in than Lost Creek, but you're still gonna have views all the way through Rolling Wood, Westlake Hills, and Lost Creek, depending on how high of a hill your home sits on. And lastly, one of the great things about these areas is that it's just very close to town. If you're in Rolling Wood, you can walk to Zilker Park and the Austin City Limits Music Festival. Um, Westlake Hills might can bike. Lost Creek is a little bit farther away, but Lost Creek is where Westlake Country Club is located and that is the closest country club to downtown Austin as it sits. So it's great to be able to get to downtown very quickly or get to anywhere in these outdoor activities in the actual Barton Creek itself. All right, let's talk about Westlake Country Club. It is just outside of the Loop 360 and this neighborhood, let me get grab my pen here, this neighborhood right here is called Lost Creek. So you turn in off of 360 and you drive on around down here, you pass over the creek, and then you can see that the golf course is on the creek, or Barton, Barton Creek in the back. I'm gonna put on the satellite here so you can see a little bit more of the natural layout here. So this right here, this is the Westlake Country Club. This is the pro shop or the country club dining area, the main center. And you can see over here all these tennis courts, pickleball courts. You've got your parking uh, in the middle of it. And then over here, you've got your driving range. So Westlake Country Club has just been remodeled this year. And um, they redid the swimming pools. They resurfaced the tennis courts. They're up, do, up, um, upgrading all the dining and things like that. And in addition to the 18 hole golf course here, speaking of the dining, they have three uh, areas you can eat at 
at the course. Some of them are not quite finished with the remodel, but basically what you have is you have Dora's Casita. That's right near the first tee box, and she has her world famous Dora's hot dog, and there are also maybe some jalapeno margaritas I've been told are quite tasty in the Dora Cantina. From there, you have the Roost Dining, and think of that more like a resort open air area where you might go to play games. Trivia nights are gonna have big sports on the TVs. They have a full bar and full dining experience there. And lastly, you're going to have the Creekside Dining Room, the most upscale option. They call it approachable elegance, if you will. Uh, anyway, that's going to be their nicest one, and that one I know is under construction right now for the renovation. They're expecting it to be complete in 2024. So those those are the three dining options at the club. So in addition to the golf, the tennis, you have fitness classes, wellness center, spa, all those type of things. And this country club is part of the invite community. And I'm gonna show you here what that looks like. Okay, so right here you can see all these other clubs in and around North America. They have um, one in Mexico, all throughout the United States, over to Seattle. Miami up in the Northeast. So when you're a member at Westlake Country Club, that means you have privileges at these other places. Um, in town, the Westlake Country Club has privileges with the Hills out in Lakeway and the UT Social Club, not the golf club, but the UT club at the stadium where the football games are played. That club has affiliation with the Invite Company. And then if you're traveling to any of these other cities, You'll get to um, be, you'll get to have access to their their amenities and their golf courses, and then I just want to show you here what's most nearby. So I mentioned the three in Austin, and you can see these purple ones are not golf communities; those are the um, what they call them stadium clubs. It's more of a dinner situation. Um, so there's one in San Antonio. There's a whole host of them in Houston and Dallas. You have one in Colleen, and then one of the dining experiences in Waco. So when you're a member of that invite community, that's what you can expect. And speaking of membership at Westlake Country Club, it comes in at a $100,000 initiation fee. So that's going to be the top level initiation fee. That's gonna include all the golf, all the tennis, pickleball, fitness, wellness, dining experiences, and the works. All right, I mentioned that all that outdoor uh, amenities, here is, once again, this is the Westlake Country Club here. Here is um, Barton Creek Crenshaw course, and um, Barton Creek Fazio is going, there it is, Barton Creek Fazio is right up there. So they almost butt into each other. The rolling terrain is pretty similar from Barton Creek to Westlake Country Club. And then look at all of this green space out here. This is not gonna be built on. This is the actual Barton Creek um, canal or ravine or however you wanna call it um, down here. We call it the green belt. Um, this hill of life, there's an entry here and a lot of people enter, they, it's, you park in the neighborhood right up here and then there's an enormous hill that um, goes down into, that accesses into the green belt. Okay, we're zoomed in on that hill of life. This is one of the views from the top. This is what you can expect when you get down to the bottom if we've had some rain. Uh, here's another view here and just expect when you're going back up this dude, it's very, very, you need to be in shape. Let's just say you need to be in shape. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's pretty steep on the way back up and the rock like steps kind of coming up are pretty tall. I used to go out there and train when I was um, getting ready to run a race or um, play in a big golf tournament so that I could get my legs um, in better shape because trust me, you will get in shape going up and down the hill of life. And that's just in the back door of Lost Creek. Actually, it, it's in the Lost Creek community. It's at the back door of the Westlake Country Club community. All right, we mentioned how great the schools are in the Eanes ISD. So we're just going to show you on the map where they are in relation to Westlake Country Club. And then you can do the math depending on where else you may have a home, whether you're in Rollingwood, Westlake Hills, or Lost Creek. So from the Country Club right here, over here to Westlake High School, you're only three miles away. It's an easy shot just across 360 and that'll get you to Westlake High School. Here are the grades for Westlake High School. It is revered as one of the top schools in the state of Texas. It gets a 98 out of 100 on texasschools.gov. 
The total enrollment is 2,809 people. Here's your diversity graph here. It has about 14.2 students per teacher. Now these are the schools that Lost Creek feed into. The middle school that Lost Creek feeds into is Westridge Middle School. They get a 96 out of 100. Their total enrollment is 894 students. Here's their diversity graph, and they have about 13 students per teacher. And lastly, the elementary school that Lost Creek Community feeds into is 95 out of 100 at Forest Trail Elementary. 560 students total. Here's a diversity graph and just under 13 students per teacher. So you can see the Eames ISD here by these three examples have very high ranking schools. The Rolling Wood and Westlake Hills Elementary and Middle Schools are also ranked just as high as these guys. And to give you your bearings on the West Ridge Middle School from the Westlake Country Club, it's a little further away, just under eight miles. Um, you have to pop out, kind of go around the back side of the neighborhood to get to the West Ridge Middle School. And the Forest Trail Elementary is actually very near the Westlake High School, so it's just under three miles away as well. So pretty easy to get to the elementary and the high school. Middle school is just a tick further. All right. So we're out kind of west of town, but there's still plenty of shopping to do or plenty of places to go shopping. And one of the closest large malls is over here at the Omni Barton Creek Square Mall. It, um, it is kind of one of those old school malls where everything's indoors. Um, this is kind of the holiday time of year right now, so we still have a few decorations up. But here's the inside. It has all the main grocery store, sorry, department stores like JCPenney's, Dillard's, Macy's, and Nordstrom's, and it has a bunch of other coffee shops and kind of a food court in there, and then your small specialty st shops as most malls would have. Now, as for grocery shopping, one of the great things about living um, in the Lost Creek area here or Westlake Hills or Rolling Woods, you do have quite a few grocery stores in between. For Lost Creek, this would be your kind of target here, this HEB. There's quite a big shopping center over in this area. It's a little strip mall. So here's your HEB store. And then next to it, you're going to have um, restaurants, Starbucks. You're going to have um, Office Depot kind of shops. Just anything you need in that little strip mall. There is um, Chick-fil-A over there if you want some fast food. They have a little sushi spot. Lupe Tortilla Mexican is one of my favorites. Kirby Lane, Breakfast Extraordinaire, uh, Taco Deli. I mean, Austin is known for their tacos, but Taco Deli makes some pretty Cracker Jack tacos. So you're not far away at all from the Westlake Country Club. In fact, you're about three miles and that's kind of your closest grocery store. And over here, you also have a medical complex. So if you needed to get to the doctor, you have this um, Westlake Medical Center over here that kind of, um, it's, it's, it's a full hospital, uh, but it's kind of small. So you, it's definitely a stop gap if you don't, can't make it downtown in time. This Hat Creek Burger Company, another great place to eat. You can take the kids because they have a big playground there. And then County Line, Texas Barbecue, and one of my favorites here, the Grove Wine Bar and Kitchen. And I just wanna show you the outside of this place because they have the most beautiful tree. Look at this. So they light this tree up at night. It's a huge oak tree. It towers over all of the um, outdoor seating area. It's just gorgeous. Food is great, the wine selection is even better. Another little area to note down here, Rudy's Barbecue. Um, it's a, both a gas station store and a barbecue shop, but it is one of the most revered barbecue places in town, and they, they make a killing on their breakfast tacos in the morning as well. They, um, they have them ready to go, so a lot of people stop in here, get a cup of coffee and a taco, or you can get a greasy, beautiful barbecue sandwich for lunch. All right, while we're around here, I just wanna show you, remember I was telling you how the city of Westlake Hills is incorporated in rolling wood? So I just wanna show you, see this red outline here, the little dotted line? That is the area that's incorporated for Westlake Hills. And this little area here, even smaller, this is rolling wood right here. So these both are cities of their own with their own rules, their own police, and their own fire department, their own trash pickup. But look at the difference, well, oops. 
Look at the difference in location. So we've got Westlake Hills right here, Rolling Wood right here, and then we've got Lost Creek over here, and here's the Westlake Country Club. So Rolling Wood can bring a premium because not only do they have the water, as does Westlake Hills, they have, they're adjacent to all of this park right here. They have the Austin Nature and Science Center right there. Um, it's a great spot. I'll show you some pictures in a minute. But this is where the Austin City Music Festival, Austin City Limits Music Festival happens. It's where Barton Creek, Barton Springs is. And you can actually walk over here if you have a house on, you know, kind of the eastern portion of Rolling Wood. You can take your bike and you can go kayaking down here. Paddle boarding is very popular in the town lake at this portion. So it's just one of those locations in town that's highly sought after. And that's what brings those average home prices so much higher. I'm gonna show you a little bit um, of some pictures of this little science center, the uh, right there in Rolling Wood. It's, it's really cool to take all sorts of ages of people and um, go and check out what's happening in Austin learn about kind of our endangered species like that little salamander or the golden cheek warbler. <laughs> um, we have a lot of them, but it protects our green space. And what I mean by protecting our green space is when we have an endangered species there, the developers can't build on it. So it's kind of a nice natural park habitat that's mandated. Um, go, to the, go to the science center and find out more. And lastly, here on this outdoor portion, I'm gonna show you the Zilker Park. This is the great lawn out in Zilker Park. You'll see people playing uh, soccer out there. This is where the Austin City Limits Music Festival happens. Um, this is where Barton Springs is. There's that, that's, um, uh, oh gosh. They, they, in the summer, it's a series. They play free music in the park each week. And um, Blues on the Green, I knew I'd remember it eventually. Blues on the Green. So you can see everyone just rides their bike or walks out there, brings a little something to eat and drink, have a picnic, and you listen to music as the sun goes down. It is such a cool thing that the city of Austin does right there in Zilker Park. And one more thing about Rolling Wood, it has been voted the number one suburb in the state of Texas uh, to raise a family. So check it out over on niche.com. All right, I'm gonna show you some of the properties that are in these three areas. As you can see here, I've circled this Lost Creek area over here, and this would be the Westlake Hills and Rolling Wood areas over here. So what does that look like in um, the results page? I'm just gonna show you. All right, so for these three areas, I've put them in order of list price here. Lowest list price in the last six months, $899,000. And the highest list price, like I was talking about before, the $17,800,000. And this is the one that's out there on the peninsula right across from the Hula Hut. This is the year built column here. You can see we have them in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. It goes all the way through. And then look, we have a slew of new construction. These down here, this last, oh, I don't know, 10, 14-ish properties. These are all a new construction that have been um, sold or are still on the market as we speak. So that wraps it up for Westlake Country Club. You've got a beautiful 18 hole golf course, all the amenities, you've got the dining experiences, you're nearby to some excellent schools, shopping, outdoor activities, it's a safe community. You've got Westlake Hills, Rolling Wood, and Lost Creek making up the community. Large homes, large lots, beautiful terrain. Look, does this sound like something you want to know more about? Maybe you'd like to see a home in person? Well, that's great. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We're always available to help you find the perfect home that matches your lifestyle. Until then, I hope to see you around town.